Hope the weather is nice for that Super Bowl. <laughs> Remember last year we were talking in Dallas, it was really kind of cold and yucky. It's already uh, better up there, obviously, than it was a year ago. A year ago today was media day up there in Dallas. They had snow, ice, Gosh. bitter cold. At this hour, a year ago here, too, our wind chill factors were headed down into the teens, eventually to near zero that <laughs> night. I know you guys remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. Can you believe it's been a year already? Uh, and it just pr proceeded to get worse from there over the next several days. The entire Super Bowl weekend up in Dallas was just absolutely ruined weather-wise by the worst winter storm, one of the worst on history over a several-day period. I mean, you talk about bad timing. It just could not have been worse. It, Indianapolis is supposed to have that kind of weather, not uh, Dallas. 78 degrees out there right now. What a contrast one year will make. 82 was the high today, and we don't have any significant cold fronts coming. There's a real weak one moving in tonight, but just like uh, what, what we've seen all winter long, these fronts are uh, not amounting to very much. We only dropped to freezing three times in all of January uh, here in Austin. Rural areas a little more often, but in Austin, we never saw a temperature colder than 31 degrees uh, in the month of January. 78 in uh, Burnett right now, 78 in Marble Falls. Hill Country, you're warm too. Metro area still warm. Uh, still 79 degrees up in Georgetown at last report. And in our eastern counties, you've been warm too. Temperatures all in the mid-70s there right now. Austin's partly cloudy and 78 out at the airport. It is 76 degrees with a partly cloudy sky and a wind that is light and variable. At the airport, the wind is south at 8 and sunset tonight is at 608. Mold count today is medium at 726 and nothing else showing up. Temperatures around Texas, everybody's enjoyed a beautiful day today, temperature-wise anyway, 71 up in Dallas, 78 in Houston, saw some thick fog obviously early this morning, but that did lift as we expected. A uh, little front has pushed right into the area, you probably barely noticed it out there, it's just a little bit of a wind shift more than anything else, and the front's going to become stationary overnight as this storm system moving across Nevada uh, begins to head our way and begins to draw that front back northward as a warm front. Now, uh, that low pressure area as it moves uh, in into the Texas Panhandle will continue to draw moist air in and then gradually give us better chances of rain. This is our timeline tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. We're likely to start the day again with some fog and some drizzle. Then as we go through the day tomorrow, uh, I don't think we're going to see the sunshine like we've seen today. I think it'll be mostly cloudy as this storm approaches. Maybe even a few scattered rain showers during the day. Let's go beyond tomorrow now. Here's Friday morning. Uh, we're cloudy. Some showers and thunderstorms to the north. Then as we go through the day, some scattered showers and thunderstorms may develop here in our part of the state including Friday night until the system moves out of here just in time for the weekend. But unfortunately, it's going to drag another weekend cold front in here, so it will not be nearly this warm Saturday or Super Bowl Sunday. Let me show you that in the seven-day forecast. Here are the low temperatures tonight. Uh, very, very mild, despite the little front moving in. 50s in most areas. And the highs tomorrow, we're likely to bounce right back up into the mid-70s tomorrow. Some fog forming late tonight. 57 the low. The front's kind of in, but it becomes uh, stationary in the area. Then as it lifts back northward as a warm front tomorrow, we'll probably have some fog, some drizzle uh, to start the day. And then we'll end up mostly cloudy. Maybe a rain shower during the afternoon tomorrow, but still warm. A high of 76 degrees. Then on Friday... Again, mid-70s, but a 60% chance of some rain, some thunderstorms. That includes through late Friday night. This front will blow through early Saturday morning. And for the third weekend in a row, a Saturday morning cold front will make it breezy and cooler on Saturday. We'll stay cool on Super Bowl Sunday with a slight chance of showers returning. And I think we're going to have another system next week that will give us more rain beginning as early as Wednesday.